we take a look at major Hollywood releases and let you know if they're worth your time, your money, and your patience. I'm your host, Walter Bernasiak, and today we, well, we're watching Fant Forstick. Transported to an alternate universe, four young outsiders gain superhuman powers as they alter their physical form in shocking ways. Reed Richards becomes Mr. Fantastic, able to stretch and twist his body at will, while pal Ben Grimm gains immense strength as the Thing. Johnny Storm becomes the Human Torch, able to control and project fire, while his sister Sue becomes the Invisible Woman. Together, the team must harness their new abilities to prevent Doctor Doom from destroying the Earth. So this was bad. Yeah, this was a bad movie. Not too many redeeming qualities here. There isn't much left to be said about this movie that hasn't already been plastered all over the internet. Even the film's director, Josh Trank, tweeted out this a few days ago and promptly deleted it. A year ago, I had a fantastic version of this, and it would have received great reviews. You'll probably never see it. That's reality, though. This obviously suggests that Fox, the studio behind the film, meddled with Trank's vision of the movie. There are rumors he was locked out of the editing room, and the reshoots are embarrassingly obvious while watching this thing. Kate Mara's hair is the main culprit. From scene to scene, her locks change from natural hair to a painfully noticeable wig. Also, Michael B. Jordan's facial hair seems to grow in out of nowhere. In the middle of the film, we skip a whole year, and from there on out, it went downhill pretty quick. The cast really isn't the problem in this one. I could think of very few names that could have made this movie better with their presence. The performances range from inoffensive to just not very good at all. Franklin Storm, Reggie Kathley, and Tim Blake Nelson as Dr. Harvey Allen were among the worst acting-wise, but I really can't blame them too much. Fantastic Four just feels like a big mess. There isn't too much to admire in it. It's boring, underwhelming, dreary, slow, and can't compare to the recent stuff Marvel Studios and even Fox themselves have put out with their X-Men movies. When you look back at the movie after watching, ask yourself if anything that didn't occur in the trailers transpired on screen. Just about all the beats are covered in the trailer, and there isn't much there in the first place. Oh, by the way, the very ending is a complete ripoff of the ending of Avengers Age of Ultron. That was an eye roller. Despite this movie's many flaws and not being something I'd suggest to see, there is something in there somewhere. Uh, you can feel Josh Trank's story sneak in sometimes, and I'm sure that would have been interesting to watch in the very least. Fantastic Four 2015 is getting just that, a 4 out of 10. Be on the lookout for more real reviews and new editions of our competitive argument show, Real Debates, coming soon. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment on, and share this video. Remember, if it's not reviewed here, it just isn't real. I'm Walter Bernasiak, and I will see you at the movies.